Hi YouTube. I found a uh, pretty fun, it's just a lighthearted look at uh, when to buy gold, when to buy silver, when to swap one metal for the other. It's basically a chart on, uh, on the gold to silver ratio. And uh, you know that, that is an important part of my strategy and, and I'll discuss that with you guys real quick. Um, before we get started though, one thing that I like to do on YouTube is I like to find little data points and, and see if they're a symptom of a larger trend, see if there's any meaning behind it at all. And I mean, I realize that in some cases it's just a t statistical noise, and but it's just always interesting to me. So I'm over on Salivate Metals channel, and no, I'm not doing the voice. You guys can't make me. After I did that silver New Jack imitation, you guys hammered me. I'm not the rich little of YouTube. All right. So about a week ago or so, uh, he uploaded two videos with basically the same. Uh, let's see. with basically the same concept, okay? They're both um, visual illustrations of all the silver in the world and all the gold in the world. And first and foremost, it highlights just how small the market is for both metals, okay? But uh, on top of that, I found it very interesting that the silver video has 2x the views of the gold video. They were uploaded at the same time. He uh, even made a point to do it that way just to kind of see how that would work out. And I found it very interesting that the silver video had 2x the views. Um, now I recognize that silver is definitely uh, something that is accessible to everyone. And that could be part of the reason why you see that. But it's just really interesting to me that uh, he uploaded two videos side by side. And the silver video had 2x the views of the gold video. So another thing that I like to do is when a channel starts to gain in popularity what I like to do is I like to say okay you know what are people watching on this person's channel and I will rank their videos by most popular so I'm on Epic RV's uh, channel the dormant <laughs> Epic RV's channel he hasn't done a video in months now so um, I, I found it really interesting if you look at his top three videos okay you can you can play the home game here and tell me what you see um, I will say that just before silver and gold turned up in the last couple of weeks uh, the negative sentiment was about as bad as I've ever seen um, it, just on YouTube it's just the anger directed towards uh, silver and gold channels I've just never seen anything like it you know a lot of vitriol a lot of very angry rhetoric being thrown our way and it's just like like everything else. It reaches a fever pitch, and then suddenly the the metals turn back up. And uh, you know you see that with a lot of assets, right? I mean, you get It's the proverbial blood in the streets. Now, does that mean that you know silver's not going back down? No, I, I have no idea. But here's what I found interesting. Look at the video titles. Now, first of all, to get ten thousand views on a silver video is a pretty impressive feat. Okay, uh, most videos don't see that kind of uh, traffic. To get 20,000, now you're, now you're up there. Not many videos, unless they've been on YouTube for quite some time, um, but not many videos really see that, especially like channels our sizes, right? 30,000, 40,000 views. He almost has 40,000 views on his top video. Look at the title, Do Not Buy Silver. Look at his second most popular video, Fake eBay Silver Bars, My Story. And his third, silver investing sucks. Now let me be very clear here. These are all pro silver videos, every single one of them. You can even go further. Uh, look at number six, buying silver and gold is for crazy people, where he talks about the perception of uh, silver bugs. So put a negative headline on your silver video and you get all these views. Now why is that? Is it schadenfreude? Is it... You know, uh, people that don't like gold and silver uh, take some kind of uh, pleasure out of watching a former silver bull turn bearish, which is not the case here. But going by the by the uh, headlines of his video titles, that's what you'd think. Is it silver investors that don't have confidence in their investment, so they're they're going to, they're trying to see if somebody else that has a big channel uh, it, it shares their sentiment? I don't know. I just found it very interesting that you take 
you take a silver video and put a negative title on it and it gets that many views. Just found it very interesting. All right. So I'll put a link for both guys' channels. I know you guys watch both those guys. So this is on Kiko forums. This was a uh, this was a chart <coughs> from a Kiko forum member named Nevermind. He posted. He says he couldn't remember where he found it. I just found it interesting. So when I first started thinking about doing this video, it was about a week and a half ago or so. The gold to silver ratio was about 65 to one. Now it's approaching 60 to one. Okay, so it's already starting to uh, condense a little bit. Basically, I look at silver as gold's higher beta little brother. Okay, it, when, when both metals are going up, silver generally outperforms. When both metals are going down, gold usually outperforms. It's just the way it is. And uh, the gold to silver ratio is a very important part of my strategy. And what I do is I take a bunch of silver that is basically... I don't want to say it's boring, uh, but it's a little bit more plain, right? It certainly doesn't have any collector's premium or anything like that. I have some silver bars and some eagles that I intend to trade in for gold when the ratio favors it. Now, right now, I have 300 ounces. Okay, just think about this. I have 300 ounces of uh, silver that I have set aside for this reason. And right now, it will buy me about 6 ounces of gold. Okay, <laughs> I'm sorry. It will buy 5 ounces of gold. See, see what happens when I have to do quick math? It'll buy five ounces of gold. If the ratio comes down to 50 to 1, which really isn't that far away, now you're looking at an extra ounce of gold for free. If we can get it down to 40 to 1, which the, where I picture that, honestly, in my mind is a silver, a silver price of 50 and a gold price of 2,000. I, I can't see it hitting 40 to 1. Like, I think about $40 silver and $1,600 gold. I mean, that's a possibility, I guess. But uh, really, what makes sense to me is, is probably $50 and $2,000. But regardless, um, I can end up with two free ounces of gold just from that 300 ounces of silver versus today. And the great thing about that is you don't actually have to uh, sell out your metals, right? Um, you know, it, it's very difficult to sell your physical and wait for the price to move um, in your favor, this is simply swapping one metal for the other and, uh, and boosting your stack that way. So that, that's kind of the strategy I'm gonna employ. So what are they saying here? So when the ratio is gold is at 100 to one, sorry dear, wedding bands must go too. Basically, you know, it, it's happened a couple of times and at that ratio, silver dramatically outperforms gold. Okay, when it's at 90 to one, trade all your gold for silver. When it's at 80 to 1, trade gold for silver hand over fist. So right in that range from 80 to 100, you're definitely trading in your gold. Okay, at 70, you want to consider trading your gold for silver. At 60, you're just buy silver. So that's where we are now, buy silver. And remember, this isn't a gospel thing by any means, okay? This is just like a guide. Uh, I have my own personal chart that really looks pretty close to this, I guess. Um, 50 to 1, hold tight, we're in no man's land. So buy a little bit of both. At 40 to 1, buy gold. So at, at this point, personally, I would be trading in some silver. I wouldn't just be buying gold. I'd be trading some gold for silver. Or, I'm sorry, silver for gold. Uh, at 30, trade silver for gold. At 20 to 1, raid mama silverware chest and trade for gold. And at 10 to 1, too late. Both metals are just about at, at parity, and it means that you know everything's kind of coming, coming to an end here. Um, anyway, like I said, I... I kind of have my own version of this chart that I'm following, and 40 to 1 is where I start to really get um, antsy with some of my silver, and I would be trading it for gold. And what I like to do is, like I said, I like to buy some good old boring uh, eagles, uh, bars, I have some Scottsdale bars, I have some eagles, I have some maple leaves and philharmonics, and, and that's the type of stuff that I'll be trading in for either Canadian maple leaves or... Um, American Gold Eagles once the favor ratio uh, once the ratio favors it, and uh, I don't know. It's just kind of what I'm thinking how I'm how I'm feeling about it. Do you intend to play the gold to silver ratio swap at any point, and at what price point are you looking at doing so? Give me your thoughts. Oh, and uh, I'll I'll put a, a link to uh, both channels, uh, Epic RV and, and Salivate Metals.
in the description box. Okay, guys, thanks.